you have some fantastic skills in your CV, but skills alone will not lend you the job. Your skills alone are not your future employer's <coughs> top priority. It's normal to fail at job interviews. I failed job interviews for a sales engineer and that only helped me get better the next time. And I've also sat at the opposite side of the table where I was interviewing job candidates. And today I'm sharing three tips from my personal experience that will help you shine at your next interview. The employers care about how our skills can help them reach the company goals. And they usually assess this based on the achievements that we had in our previous jobs. It's really important to have good and relevant skills on our CV, but they will want to know how we used these skills in order to be successful at whatever we were doing before. A job interview is the most important sales job you will ever have. So do your homework and research that employer so you can pitch your value within their context. And you'll usually have a recruiter from the company assigned to you to guide you through the interview process. And this is your best source of information. Ask them anything that can help you perform better at the job interview. And they will be happy to do this for you because their job is to lend you the job. And remember, at a job interview, you're always talking to a person that could be your future peer or your future manager. Try to put yourself in their shoes so you understand what they'd like to learn about you that's relevant for them. Are you interested in becoming a sales engineer? Make sure you subscribe to this channel and click on that bell button so you never miss videos like what does a sales engineer do? I don't push pause, no, I push play. I won't stop. Even if you've never worked at sales before, like me before switching to pre-sales, I came from a software development background, you still have a lot of sales experience. How so? You were pitching software development ideas to your peers or your managers. That's what we do in sales, we pitch ideas. And you were building software and demoing this software internally or maybe even to customers. And that's exactly what we do in pre-sales. We demo software to prospects and customers. You were talking to customers to better understand the issues or bugs they're experiencing with your software. And I also do that as a sales engineer. You had to discuss ideas, agree, make decisions, and act accordingly as part of a team, like a good team player. And that's exactly what we have to do in sales. These are the kinds of situations that the future employer will want to know about and how you handle them. And my advice here is talk about your own experiences and not someone else's. Why? Well, a job interview is really a two-way street. I want to present myself as a suitable candidate, as a great fit for this company, but I also want to make really sure that this company is culturally a fit for me. And I can assess this based on how they react when I talk about my own personal experiences. I get lost in the words I say. I don't push you will be given a technical challenge that you need to finish anywhere from a couple of days to a couple of weeks. You'll be doing it offline. And upon submitting those results, they will expect you to present them, but to also do a company pitch in a role play situation where they play a customer. Ooh, that's right. While the technical part is your turf and you should really shine there, this other part where you need to pitch the company to the company is much harder. This is a part of the sales engineer job too. When we pitch our products, we have to research those customers and prospects in advance. And we have to be able to pitch our product to those customers within their context based on that research. Friend. And that's exactly what the employer is looking to see us demonstrate at the job interview. Some other employers will not give you an offline technical challenge. They would rather want to see you under even more stress. They would organize an on-site meeting or a call where they would give you the challenge at the beginning of the session and they will observe you how you solve it. And the objective here is not for you to sweat on the camera and write some stuff down on the paper while everybody else is silent. The objective is to lead a conversation with the imagined customer. So they would expect you to do here more a discovery session, ask about problems, try to uncover the challenges, and at the same time, come up with a architecture that solves the problem. This is a very typical pre-sale situation. We do this on a daily basis. If you missed that video, go back and make sure you watch it and learn what the discovery is. It might help you do your job interview better. Now, these sessions, they sound really scary, 
but there's a way to get really good at them. What I usually do is I film myself like I'm filming myself right now. And that's a really easy way to see where you went wrong. And the more you do this, the better you'll get. And you know you got really better once you start having fun at it. I hope this video will help you prepare better for the next sales engineer job interview. Let me know in the comment section. And also make sure you subscribe to Better Pre-Sales and hit that bell button so you never miss new videos. Stay healthy and stay tuned.